All right, welcome back everybody. Here it is Monday, the first uh, probably day for many of you back to school or back to a full work week and all of that. And so it's kind of hard to get going, isn't it? And so I hope everything went well for you today. Now we have a clear sky tonight and that's good because within the next hour or so, if you look to the east southeast, you're going to see this orb rising and it's going to be kind of orangish colored. Don't worry, we're not being invaded, but it is planet Jupiter and quite a sight it is, especially if you have binoculars or a telescope. So a generally clear sky tonight. We have had a few clouds around this time of year, a uh, populated area, cities, towns and so on tend to make their own clouds because of you know, furnaces and so on. They put off a little steam or factories and things like that. And so you'll see a few clouds floating around, especially during the day and sometimes at night as well. So you can tell where populated areas are. Right now it's 27 degrees, the low for the day. Rockville 25, Linton 31, Robinson 25, and Vincennes has 26, only 28, and Eppingham 28, and Mattoon has 25 degrees. So higher pressure right here, actually quite nice. And so as it slides off to the east, what will happen, first of all, is we're gonna be cold. And then as we get a little uh, further into the week, about middle part of the week, the wind will shift direction. We'll start to get more of a southerly breeze, so the temperature will notch up a little bit. The only thing is, uh, as this high slides off to the east, that allows this to start to come in closer to us. And this is a rainmaker. This is going to bring rain most likely for us. Hopefully not as much as we had the last time. I want to keep a real close eye on this for you. But right now it doesn't seem like we're going to produce as much rain. But at this point, rain of any kind, is you don't want to hear about that. And so we're going to warm up a little bit ahead of this, and then we're going to get some rain. And then it's going to get colder as we get into the second part of the weekend and the first part of next week. But in the meantime, pretty nice. We look at the Storm Team 10 Futurecast. This is 9 o'clock in the morning, and then we go into uh, noon tomorrow. Here's 10 a.m. So plenty of sunshine. A few clouds start to develop as the day goes on. And then we get into Tuesday night and then into Wednesday. See what happens late Wednesday night into Thursday. That's as that high slides off to the east and we start to allow that next system to get closer to us. Clouds will start to move in. We'll change the direction of the wind, certainly, and then we'll have that chance of rain. So a starlit sky tonight. Great night for looking at the sky. Eight, we're going to get bundled up, though. 18 degrees for the overnight low. A little bit of a wind chill tonight. And then for tomorrow, a sunny sky. Not quite as breezy. A high tomorrow of 36 degrees. And then tomorrow night, the good news is it's not quite as cold. 18 tonight, 23 tomorrow night. We're on a warming trend and uh, a clear again tonight. So wind tomorrow night from the southeast, uh, just very light at about six miles per hour. Then the seven day forecast goes like this. Tomorrow, 36 degrees. See how it gets warmer on Wednesday, a high of 41 and even warmer on Thursday. The only thing is we have that next system coming in. It gets closer to us. We warm up, could get up to 47 degrees on Friday, but we have to have some rain along with that, unfortunately. And then a cold front sweeps through and that'll cool things off. So before that whole system is out of here, we might even get a little snow and then it gets cold next week. 